What's going on, Diglett Dreamers? Mathras here with another Moveset Monday. This episode is going to be coming a little late in the week because things have been a little crazy. I've been having a lot of work and school going on at the same time, and it's kind of hard to keep it all going, and as well as the YouTube channel, as well as anything else I want to do with my life. And I apologize for that, but I'm going to try to keep it as constant as possible. Uh, you saw that updated video, so I don't really need to say that much. But anyway, this is a move set video. This this move set was suggested by Quinlan Ding, all the way from China, and I'm also really excited to do it because I've been playing a lot of Super Smash, and I really enjoy playing this Greninja. Uh, we have Super Smasher here, the Greninja. This is an OU move set, in case you didn't already know, because Greninja is OU. It's a powerful Pokemon. Uh, let's go quickly go over this set. We have a uh, No Item Greninja, which is really fun. It's, you know, running no item is not that big a deal because of this move right here. Acrobatics. Power doubles if the user has no held item. So, this automatically becomes a stab 110 power flying type move that Greninja can use, which is pretty cool. It also, because of his ability Protean, which means he changes type when he uses a move, it means that he will change into a flying type when you use acrobatics. This is perfect for avoiding things like Earthquake and any other ground type moves. Because if you think that something's going to go try to go for an Earthquake and try to kill you, go for an Acrobatics, you're probably going to outspeed it unless it's some scarfed thing, and you will just not be hurt by it, and you'll do a ton of damage with Acrobatics. It's a really cool. Uh, it's something you could save to try to surprise somebody late in the game, but it is also going to be... Super Smasher's like biggest uh, stab move, if you will, uh, because it's his most powerful move, and it does a lot of damage, and yeah, everything becomes stab. So <laughs> uh, we also have Water Shuriken here. Something that a lot of people forget about Water Shuriken is that it is priority. It hits two to five times, and it's priority. It's really cool. Uh, if you hit, get five times hits, that's 15 times 5, I don't do math, but that's a lot of damage with the priority. Um, I think it's probably like extreme speed standards. Um, well, extreme speed power standards, not extreme speed priority standards, if you know what I mean. Uh, then we also have U-Turn on here, which is a great physical move that uh, Greninja can learn. 70 power and switches you out. Switch initiative is always a great thing to have. Uh, so Greninja makes for a really great U-turn. I think it's the most powerful U-turn in OU. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it's the most powerful, or one of the top couple most powerful. I'm trying to think of what other bug Pokemon are in OU. And I'm just drawing a blank right now. That's okay. Now the fourth move is where you can have a little fun with it. Uh, he does learn a lot of moves, so he, there's a few options here. Uh, Toxic is a really good move to run because instead of having that 90% accuracy with Protean, it does change Toxic into a 100% accurate move. So it could be really useful to use to catch a uh, some kind of physical wall coming in on you. And you can Toxic it and do a lot, and that'll be really helpful for your team. Uh, other than that, there are a few other things you can run, like, for example, Rock Slide can be really fun to run, especially in OU because they have Charizard Y, you have Volcarona up in there, and they can be really troublesome Pokemon, but if you have Rock Slide for them, then you can just take them out pretty much one hit, no problem. Uh, other options, what are other options? Uh, Ice Beam is still viable, even if you have no special attack investment. I actually do have four. Put four in a special attack because of this move. Uh, so yeah, if you do decide to run Ice Beam, you can put that four in the special attack. And even with that tiny, tiny investment, Ice Beam is still going to be really useful against a lot of OU threats, such as Garchomp, Dragonite after rocks, because it gets rid of that multi-scale. Uh, Noivern, if someone brings it up from UU. Uh, especially Gliscor. Gliscor is really powerful. If you can... If somebody realizes that you're a physical Greninja, they bring in their Gliscor on you to avoid the acrobatics and you turning shenanigans, and then you just hit him with an Ice Beam, gonna one hit KO. No problem. Really, really useful move. Ice is one of the most, one of the best offensive typings in the game, so it's good to have that on your team. 
Uh, there was one other, oh yes, uh, spikes can be useful if you want to set up, um, if you want to, some, uh, if you want the chance to set up on your opponent, for example. Uh, plus spikes is also going to be really useful to have, especially considering you have water shirk and acrobatics, which are two moves that are both going to make you weak to electric. So if the opponent thinks that he can get you with an electric type move, basically, then you can just go for the spikes and be immune and then set up some hazards for your team. So Greninja obviously is one of the most diverse, well not the diverse, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, oh man, I'm having a complete brain fart right now. The word is uh, versatile, that's the word I'm trying to say. Greninja is possibly like one of the most versatile Pokemon in the game because it is very viable physical and as everyone knows it's very viable specially offensive as well because that is the most common set but don't underestimate its physical prowess because let's look at its stats actually let's see it's 103 special attack so obviously it is better than this but it does have a 95 base attack which is not really that bad especially if you fully invest and you get stab on everything and it's a pretty good move uh, but definitely if when you're running this set you want to invest completely in attack and speed make him a uh, plus speed nature uh, you can make him depending on if you're running that ice beam or not so if you're running ice beam hasty will work given that four special attack but if you're not running ice beam there really is no point to put it in special attack i would just put it in hp and then make him a jolly nature put it in minus special attack um, yeah that's gonna be this move set Monday for today super smasher the Greninja the physical Greninja it's got a lot of fun I really suggest you chest test chest chesto resto no I really suggest that you test it out try it out it's gonna throw a little a lot of people off guard because special offensive Greninja is always gonna be the expected set so just have fun with it you will I promise you will and go play Super Smash. That's what I'm about to do. All right. Diggle Dreamers, peace out. Uh, keep dreaming, and I'll see you next time.